go, folks. Nice to have you back. Don't forget, of course, you can win yourself a case of Immune Booster. We're going to explain you how to do it on Facebook. Just follow uh, Spot the Team competition. All right. Uh, big games now coming up to them. UWC and France. Hook, before the game, what were you thinking? Look, before the game, I really would, especially with Franz Hook with their big forwards, I, I gave Franz Hook a thumbs up to win the game. Yeah, yeah. Faisal, uh, next game we're going to look at is Carpentan and Van der Stel, but that's going to come after this game. Um, the students, though, uh, Jerome, are they? did you feel that they were back on track, or has it been a bit of an on-off season for them? Look, I think coming the previous season coming off Super A, so obviously with that experience and um, the, 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 the fitness level of the students actually carried them through. And, uh, um, but yeah, but I mean, uh, it wasn't easy for them. They had to play hard to, to win some games. All right, well, let's take a look now, folks. Here's your first highlights. This is, of course, UWC up against France Hook. Winner goes to the finals, and of course, the loser has to play in the third and fourth place playoffs. Welcome back, everybody. You're with us here at Cape Rugby TV. UWC, French Hook. Um, uh, Faisal, French Hook, or well, at least French Hook will be a little bit disappointed with that. But they've still got a second bite of the cherry. No, definitely. I think they've been contenders now for the last, what, three, four years. Um, they've been a lot unlucky. Um, I thought this year, uh, you know, uh, like with the teams playing and at their French Hook, you know, will always be there on top. Um, and yeah, I think they're a bit unlucky in terms of the result and that. But like you say, there's still another chance. And yeah, holding, holding, uh, holding fingers. Um, maybe this is the year for them. Yeah, folks. So we are seeing some. We are going to see some changes in how the picture looks. And this is, of course, now Crawfontein against Van der Stel.
go final result and going in favor of van der Stel, uh, jerome big turnaround for van der Stel also in i mean or at least call it steady growth steady growth in the last few years yeah they've 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 done well um over the years uh alistair sigela did well with the team yeah. and the whole management did well and um just uh again the old rose factor uh the previous uh, the previous year he helped Cryfontaine, this year he helped Van der Stel. <laughs> I don't know who's going to help next year, but uh, well, <laughs> that, uh, that kick from the corner <laughs> was good. But uh, but Cryfontaine didn't give up. Uh, they were the last play. They played from yeah. the try line to uh, to Van der Stel's try line to 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 draw the game, and, yeah. and then I think it would have been extra time. But uh, they they unfortunately was a turnover. And um, just spoken to the ref after the game. Uh, they kept the ball for four minutes, 25 seconds. That's a long time. That is how desperate they were. Oh, they almost good. scored. Do you think that's uh, because of the City Park wind factor? No, it's, I think because they, they, they had a chance to, to yeah. draw the game and play like extra time. Yeah. So they yeah. had to keep the ball. And it was amazing to see. You only see this in really in test mm. rugby or high level rugby. And what they did was amazing um, yeah. to see how they handled the ball with forwards and backs. And then the other thing is also the discipline of Van der Stel. They yeah. didn't go offside, they didn't go over the ball, so that was good. Basil, of course, now Krafentein go up against Frank Schuch. Yeah, so they play Frank Schuch now for that playoff. But almost like we mentioned earlier, and I think we're looking at the teams that came up now, both of them, Van der Stel and Krafentein from last year, Super C. I think Van der Stel also coming from the regions and that. It just shows the, the opportunity that's created with the format and the competition and that. So yeah. I think within three years, you've now playing in Super League A. I mean, Van der Stel, I mean, that's a great achievement from yeah. their side. And I think Krafentein as well, um, they've got another bite at the cherry and that there. So, yeah, it's going to be another exciting weekend. All right, folks, we're going to take a break. When we come back from the break, we're going to start taking a look at Super League A. Don't forget, we're still going to talk about your Promotion Cup and your Challenge Cup. Back in a sec. Thank you. 